there it is there it is anyway if you're just joining us from the quakecon uh live stream i am going to be switching briefly back to what i was doing before the quakecon live stream started which is playing a little bit of classic doom with a, a few moddy twists currently playing meta doom i'm just going to switch it back if i can Music's going to go away while I do this because there's no way for me to have it go twice. So it's Meta Doom with Doom 64 for Doom 2 because we are as meta as meta can get right now. We, we, we're so meta we watched a stream for Doom in the middle of a Doom stream. Good grief. Good grief. Holy shit. Anyway, that should short should short things out, yash. Yash. But it's been it's 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 been wonderful. It's been wonderful. You know, for all the snark, they 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 knew what they were doing. They knew exactly what they did they were doing. They were building and building and building. They knew why everyone was there. Because right now right now, Doom is probably one of the fucking hottest IPs. You know, for, for all of the, the, the repurchase of um, of goddamn Skyrim. <laughs> it's it's just uh it's just not what's on everyone's mind anymore. Anyway, I'm gonna switch back to game. I'm gonna try and get this thing working again. I have done something to my editor that means it's still displaying the thing. Let me just sort this out. Let me just sort this out. There we go. So, yeah. It's been interesting. It's been very interesting. So, where was I up to? This is where I was up to. Sweet. Flip. Your hands and throat hurt from clapping and screaming so loudly. <laughs> You, you saw a thing you liked and you clapped. Oh, I remember this level now from Doom 64. I remember now. Because the Eternal Doom looked to you a bit more Halo-y than the last one. I kind of disagree. I disagree. And that's coming from a space where I, I, I've quite recently played Halo. It's uh, definitely... It's definitely looking good. It's looking very, very strong. I have my doubts. I have my reservations. That's why whenever someone asks me, what do I think about Doom Eternal? I've always said, I'm waiting for the gameplay. I'm waiting for the gameplay. I mean, sure, there's a few things about the gameplay they can... What did you say? Fake? But they could jimmy. But... It's looking good. They basically did everything they possibly could during that presentation of Doom, uh, Doom Eternal to get get me on board. I mean, the grapple hook on the super shotgun, that looks like a lot of fun. And I'm dead. Swinging around arenas, blasting pain elementals in the face, getting cacodemons to swallow grenades. <laughs> it's, 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 it's the logical extension of everything they put in place in Doom 2016. So if one thing, if one thing is definitely required, absolutely certainly required, it is a good old-fashioned nightmare replay of Doom 2016. That is happening. I'm gonna have to fit that in somewhere between my play of uh, of of Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter World, which I've been doing. I'm gonna have to fit in some Doom 2016 easily. Easily. Gotta be a thing. Gotta happen. Stop talking. Uh, you were so scared they'd fuck up Doom, but that shit was 100% amazing. I say, the only thing from this point onwards that you gotta be careful about is getting a little too invested in the hype train. So, that feeling that you're feeling right now, if you're feeling hype, Hold on to that. That's precious. That's that, that's something that will get you through to uh, release date. Absolutely. 
but from this point onwards you can feel free to ignore any other piece of media they put out so everything from this point forwards will be judged on what they put out at QuakeCon. Oh, damn it! So that's the thing I hate about Pain Elementals. Sometimes if you've got a specific weapon, the cycling of the weapon animation can uh, lead into you firing just as they spew out a lost soul. So all you're doing is dealing damage to the lost soul instead of the pain elemental and it pisses me off Mithil, you got the feeling from the end of the last video that the arch might there might be Hayden it's a bold strategy cotton let's see if it uh if it pays off if that indeed does turn out to be the case I reckon they got bigger things planned for Hayden than simply Archvile, but if it if it does turn out that he is the genesis of the Archvile, then yeah, okay, okay, this works for me. Get stream still wiping the cum from your monitor. Ah, <laughs> oh, get get the bleach, get the bleach. Was bad timing. Holy shotgunners, that's what it is. And Z Division. Z Division, Z Division. Potato, potato. Just hang it on. Shit, that's new. Fuck. I was looking for a good place to save. But it wasn't giving me it. People are leaving because no more Quake on. That's ah, fine. I don't mind. I'm just happy that people turned up at all. It's usually the way it goes for me, but if you're hanging on and you're wondering what the fuck I'm doing, I'm playing mods for a game that you, you might you might not recognize. <laughs> Called Doom. Ah. Uh, but if you're ever feeling a little disenchanted with every other game except for Doom Eternal, it's gonna be coming out. There's always the wonderful world of Doom modding, believe you me. Always do what I can to showcase them. May look may look a little dated to your eyes, but trust me, you'll adjust. It's amazing when you think about it, the sheer amount of people that that's you may have become fans of Doom from Doom 2016. There's a high chance that there's a whole generation of people out there that their only experience of Doom is, in fact, Doom... Doom 2016. So I feel it's almost my, uh, my duty to reintroduce people to a little slice of fried gold. That's neat, though. That's neat. That's a little diorama showing you what it's done. That's 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 actually adorable. There's still life in the old girl yet. It just so happens that there's uh, a younger cousin strutting around doing some absolutely top tier shit. It really is. Son of a bitch. Oh, 
just, just, just about, just about survive that. 3% health. Jobbermont, you think Doom Guy and Doom Slayer aren't the same character? Interesting theory. Interesting theory. Otter Slinger, the reason uh, Kinsey released Metadoom now is to be like, sorry, I just released an update. I'm not adding in anything at the moment. <laughs> hey, it gave me, it reminded me of something I felt like playing. I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. I'm going to be save scumming like a son of a bitch for the next several sections of uh, levels, so apologies. Ooh, health, 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 health. Death to you. Oh. This section, though. This section, though. Get everything? Nope. Firing wildly into the the distance in the shadows. Alright, what haven't I explored yet? I think it was blue key. I definitely opened up this section here for the blue. There we go. Something else opened up. Here we go. But yeah, I really enjoyed what I saw of the, uh, the plasma gun. The plasma rifle, whatever you want to call it. That looked neat. That looked neat. It looked right. It only took a few shots in the, in the Doom Eternal thing to just make him kind of go... But it looked right. It looked good. Ducky, you was born in 99, but your dad had floppy disks with Doom and Heretic on them, so you played them in the old childhood. Similar thing for me. I, I had a box of uh, Doom 2. I had Doom and Doom 2, but I was missing like one or two discs from Doom 2. Broke my heart, it did. Because for the longest time, all I had was the shareware version of Doom. Heck! I'm clearly taking a little hit there. There's an invisible imp in there, that's why. That'll be it. Them's the breaks. Brickman, he played original Doom around 2012. No problems considering it one of your favorite games ever. It's 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 a classic. It certainly is a classic. I gotta punch these guys in the face, haven't I? Oh, can I use my uh let's see if this works. Will I still get health? No. No, you don't get a health that way. Echo! How you doing, man? It's gonna be a tough one to get through this. Otto, he wasn't actually here for your reaction. You can go watch the VOD to see it. That's okay. There we go! Spiffing. So I'm trying to remember, is that a invulnerability? Quad damage! You gotta say it right. Quad damage. Quad damage. 
Quick dim nukem, I'll fire on the plasma rifle. I did try it, it wasn't working. I don't think I have enough ammo. Oh no, there it is. It's got a recharge. Ah, I keep forgetting how that works. Oh, they've done another little tiny diorama thing. That's a... I'm, I'm loving that. That's adorable. I am really enjoying the tiny little changes to some of these levels. They're really nice. There we go. Wedding cake is lie. Your theory is the Doom Eternal is actually a prequel, not a sequel. We've seen all the stuff in Eternal looks more like uh, OG Doom than 2016. Spiker red eyed imps, the green haired zombies, the sleeveless, sleeveless Doom guy, plasma rifle model. Doesn't quite explain the, um, the fear that the UAC employees have. Because if it was a prequel, why would they give a shit? Why would they give a shit about who he is? They wouldn't care. Time will tell. Time will indeed tell. Nice. Really missed that for a second there. There it is. Not that one. Dark Star Doom guy in 2016 didn't know what the Crucible was. Hmm. It's not like he talked much, to be honest. Doom guy is uh, very much a man of action, not words. I'm very much hoping that they do eventually throw in an Easter egg relating to his uh, Pat Rabbit, though. I really do. That would be great. not. Shit. Chuck the grenade the wrong way. Are they capable of coming down the stairs? I'm not sure that they are. There we go. I've got to say, that's a really elegant solution to flipping a switch and not quite knowing where it leads. Yeah, you know, just short of a neon arrow, uh, it's, it's actually quite elegant. It's supposed to give you a little bit of visual memory. You've seen it, you know where it is, but for me, it's like, eh, I need 
need a little bit more. Just a tad more info. Lips, does the online demon player named Daisy101 count as an Easter egg? <laughs> Potentially. Potentially. Lacreo, how are you doing? Captain Kaylee looks uh, like a straight-up sequel, Doom Eternal. I think it's a mistake to rely on Doom 1 and 2 for continuity. New ones are doing their own thing. Yes, yes they are. They're certainly using uh, Doom 1 and Doom 2 as a, as a reference point. Absolutely, there's no way that they couldn't. But they're certainly putting their own spin on the uh, on matters. There it is. Oh shit! Last one. Okay. A crayon, seeing the uh, Eternal gameplay reveal made you want to play uh, Death Foretold. <laughs> it made me want to go back to, uh, oh fuck, Doom 2016. Really did. Shit. Okay. Suck on that. Yes! Yes! Oh no, we've already done that one. Already done that one. You love how the BFG ten thousand is just a BFG nine thousand. That's the size of a skyscraper in the, in the uh, yeah the Doom Eternal. Ah, oh. why? But why not though? Why not? Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah. Uh, okay. There we go. Wondering for a second there. Walked right into that one. But never mind. Never mind. Steezy, you finally got to catch an episode of DMM Live. Good for you, dude. Good for you. Virgil Gaming, thank you very much for following. Rick, man, I missed your two months of resub there. Flame Boy Hype. Seriously, though, they didn't show what he actually does. And I think I said hi to Sentient Pillowcase as well. Apologies if I missed anyone. Uh, I've been riding a little high on the uh, on the adrenaline, so to speak. Double Mump, you can't wait to see me playing it. I, I can't wait to play it myself. <laughs> But I'm really enjoying the the insinuation that they are leaning right into the background story and the lore and the world building. That that is something that really makes me love what they've done with Doom 2016. Because if you've just played through Doom, to, to, let me start that again. If you've just played through Doom 2016 and you're like, hmm, that was all right. And you've not spent a little time just having a little look at the codex, you are missing out, my friend. You are missing out. It really does add to it. Don't generally have enough health to be dealing with this. Oh, look, health. Health, 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 health. Thank you very much. 
got to say, I love the noise. I love the noise of picking up the health in this. It's, it's, uh... It, it's got a little something to it. Got a little something something. How much have I got for this one? Not much. But plenty for the chain gun. Stop talking, Tommy. Uh, favorite part of Doom 2016 were the codex entries and the expansion of the lore. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Virtual Gaming Doom is never about the story. No. But Doom 2016 has a lot of really fun extra stuff that puts meat on the bones. I mean, I, I don't play Doom 1 and Doom 2 and think, you know what, this isn't really doing it for me. I really need to know why they pick, pick that particular wall texture or why this gun is the way it is. You know, I, 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 never, I never thought that because the core fundamentals of the gameplay were rock fucking solid. And the same thing goes for Doom 2016. If it so turned out that there wasn't any codex, I'd still really fucking enjoy myself because the fundamentals are rock fucking solid. But that there's a little extra layer on that birthday cake. This is an analogy I used so so much. The icing on the birthday cake, you know, the 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 filling, and the and the and the sponge and that kind of stuff. Tasty shit. Now the flavoring, the icing, has a potential to be sickly. But there's certainly opportunity, and there's certainly examples where people have added a little too much on top, and it's just you know. You could cool it down a bit, but I think the I think they got the combination just right. I think they got the combination just right, and I am looking forward to developing some sweet, sweet diabetes playing Doom Eternal. I really am. I just hope they uh, they nail it. I just hope they they stick the landing. That is all I need. Something, bitch. That's all I ever want from any game I am ever interested in. All you need to do is stick the landing. Give me a satisfying experience front to back. And you will have a fan. You will have a fan for life. Kinsey, you're okay. You think your crotch has been reduced to dust now? <laughs> Did you enjoy yourself, Kinsey? Did you enjoy yourself? But hey, you know what? If it's not your thing, it's not your thing. Just for all those out there who like, yeah, yeah, Doom 2016 wasn't what I, I expected or or I, what I wanted. Well thing I always come back to is oh hey would you look at that here's Doom and Doom 2 and GZ Doom and hundreds upon hundreds of mods one of the most well supported games in existence when it comes to gameplay and levels you got everything you need right here so if it turns out that the new breeder stuff isn't for you you can always come back here Okay. There it is. Of course the floor turns to blood. Of course it does. What, why, why was I thinking anything else would happen? Easy peasy.
That nearly made me shit my pants. I didn't expect two of them. I did not expect two of them. Nope. Wondering which way leads back around to where I need to be. This is the point where I get a little, a little confused. Hunter Aggie enjoyed the part in the trailer where he grabbed the dude's keycard. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that gave me a good giggle as well. Rather than taking the keycard off the guy's head, he just pulls the guy by his throat. By the keycard over to the keycard reader. It's just the slow method... You know, if it comes down to characterization just through action, they know exactly what the Doomslayer is. They know exactly how the Doomslayer should act, how he would react to, you know, any given moment. You know, with, with Hugo and Marty at the helm, I am... I am confident, after what I've seen, that they should be able to knock it out the park. Easily. Easily. They're a good team. Uh, I don't know how many of you have seen the no-clip documentary on the making of uh, Doom. That's a good watch, uh, regardless of uh, whatever you feel about the documentarian in question. He does a good sit-down interview. Danny Odui, that's the name. Okay. I'm losing my direction. No, I need to get to this. But I'm trying to remember what I've missed in the level itself. I know I got the red key. I know I need to put it in the red key card door. But getting to the red key card door. That's when my brain kind of goes, <laughs> no. Oh, you like how they made some of the monsters look more human? You like how they turned the Doom guy into the predator, except of uh, chasing muscly men with the shin guns? He chases demons. Uh, the, yeah, the shoulder cannon is definitely uh, a nice, a nice little addition. Absolutely, a wonderful little addition. Uh, pardon me. Ah, there it is. I do think, though, once I'm done with this level, I'm going to have to call it a night, chaps. Seems an appropriate place to put... Place. Appropriate place, that's the word. Appropriate place to pause it, because this is like a... Almost a chapter end... In Doom 64? Though, I remember this endlessly pissing me off. This this switch combination thing here. I could never figure out how to do it. It used to annoy the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, it's that combination. It just annoyed the shit out of me. I do really enjoy that those stick to walls, though. Do they stick to ceilings? They do! That's neat. Dragon, is this, uh, is this Doom? In Doom 64 in classic Doom style? Yes, yes it is. It is exactly as I listed it in the title. It is Doom 64 for Doom 2. While playing Meta Doom. And then halfway through going to watch a live stream about Doom. Because I thought Meta Doom was themically appropriate. We were doing a lot of meta today. A lot of meta. I don't remember what I 
wonder if any of these have a switch on them. Don't think they do. It always gets me, it really does. Better Tim. <laughs> Your boy Icarus here, do you like Doom? So he plays Doom and Doom while watching Doom on a Doom stream? Absolutely. Absolutely. The switches in here and a red her are a red herring. Well, that's a thing. The first time I played this, it took me forever to figure out that it was actually a red herring. I know there's a thing. When you go lower down, that happens. There's somewhere that you can go that just lowers the thing, but I can't remember what it is. There's not a lot. There's not a lot of clues. See, ah, uh, okay. No. <laughs> is me thinking I cracked something? Well, I cracked that at the very least. It is a mean level up. Big fat meanie. It is a big fat meanie of a level. You think the switches don't do anything? It's just a toy with you? Yeah. The little window I keep passing by. That's just evil. That is just evil. <laughs> oh. That, that, that is someone who's like, Ah, so you're at the... Uh, a, a monumental level, are you? How about we make things really convoluted? <laughs> Such a dick move. I love the fact you can shatter the lamps, though. That's satisfying. I don't know if that's a feature of this, or... Something else. There we go. Ah, shit. Had a bit of frame lag. I do remember this being quite a tough section from when I originally played it. had a spurt left. Just a little spurt. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Magus. One hundredth of the puzzle has been solved. Why I yada. Why I yada. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm leaving it there. I'm leaving it there. I know it sounds like a dick move to leave it at the cyber demon battle, but I am I am I am. I don't have the mental capacity. I don't have the mental capacity. Ah, but at the very least, I hope you have had a wonderful time during the course of this this uh scream, I was about to say, stream. I have drank all of my beer in a frighteningly quick fashion. I did not expect to be drinking my uh, my, my beer all that quick. Hence, hence why I needed to run the toilet that freaking quick. But isn't the next map even simpler? It may be simpler, but I am I am literally an hour overdue <laughs> because I decided to do QuakeCon. But uh, yeah, it's been real. I may even be back uh, at some point this weekend, depending on how the weekend turns out. Uh, hopefully on Monday I'll be back to my regular schedule, so there should be uh, something mod-related next Friday. There should definitely be more streams next Friday as well, so... Um, if you've been taking heed of the description of the YouTube video, you should have followed by now. Or made a Twitch account by now, because I'm not... I'm not putting any more notifications up on, uh, on YouTube. I don't want to run the risk of getting my channel, um deleted or whatever the fuck they do to it because they're like one strike fucking trigger happy over on youtube these days but yeah it's been neat it's been neat but yeah they, they seem to have switched they seem to have switched the order of a few things around but this this is a nice place for me to pause Meta 10, when's the next part of Golden Souls 2 coming out? Ah, uh, I haven't really decided. You know, if I, if I don't come back to it within a week or two, I usually kind of leave it by the wayside and um, carry on. But if you want me to return to it, I'll be happy to return to my save file next uh, next Friday, if you like. Carry on with uh, Golden Souls 2, see if I can beat it. On track, why did YouTube give me a strike? They haven't given me a strike. It's um, It's a rule that they've got where if you advertise something outside of YouTube using a YouTube video that is designed to make people go from YouTube to Twitch or somewhere else, that's against their rules. And very recently, they've been coming down real hard, extremely hard on any channel that they've spotted doing that. So I'm going to nip that in the bud for my own sake and for your sake. So if you want to keep watching Doom Mod Madness, yeah, that's the way it's got to be. I'll still be able to do Twitch streams. It just means that on Friday, rather than me having to put up a great big video every week on YouTube saying, Hi, I'm live! I'm live! I've been doing this for several... Years? Years now? You should know what time I fucking stream? You know... Them's the breaks. Anyway... Wedding cake. See you later. You're gonna go play some free Quake. Hope you enjoy it. Quake Champions is alright. It's a good time. It's a good time. But yes. I'm going to have to love you and leave you, my friends. It's been a, it's been a, an absolute pleasure. I will do my best to section out that QuakeCon thing, if you like. I'll post that to YouTube as a as a QuakeCon reaction thing. Because um, there was I, I watched the whole thing. I watched the whole, the whole thing. And I'm pretty sure a few people will want to watch that. I'll try and stitch this together as best I can. Um, two halves, maybe. Yeah, yeah, we'll see how that works. Captain Kaylee, thank you for the bits, fun stream. Take care, have a good evening. But yes, I'm going to do it now, so I just get it out the way. This has been Mr. Icarus. Thank you very much for watching. Icarus out. <laughs>